I just had one of those surreal experiences. Today I was on my way to the university to hand in my last paper, because it's exam season, and uh, I brought along my book, as usual, because I read on the bus. That's my reading time. But the book I'm reading now is Anna Karenina, and I have been carrying this around me for almost a month now, because it is so long, and um, I was just leafing through it while sitting at the bus stop, um, trying to figure out exactly how many chapters I had read because there's about 34, 35 chapters per section in the book and there are eight parts. I'm at part six and as I'm doing so a lovely old gentleman from the neighborhood comes into the bus stop and he takes one look at the cover and he says, oh, Anna Karenina! And he says, he's, he proceeds to explain that he's Russian and he doesn't speak very good English. So we have this whole conversation about Anna Karenina and Tolstoy and Russian literature in broken English over the course of the 20 minute bus ride. And he recommended books to me, um, not necessarily just Russian writers, like he um, recommended Pushkin and Dostoevsky and, and uh, Nabokov, but also Canadian writers and Jack London, and and all kinds of stuff. I put them all on my cell phone, actually. I have a list of books that I want to buy, and I just put the authors he mentioned onto that list. Now, he recommended Fenimore Cooper, Jack London, Martin Eden, Pushkin, and a book in French called Aéroport. It was just one of those, like, movie-worthy, like, it was like one of those Amélie experiences where it's just a chance encounter, and he was just so happy to talk about about this book. He said it, he read it twice. And we talked about how Anna Karenina herself was such a new character in literature at that time because in the 1800s the things she was doing were absolutely scandalous. And I haven't finished the book yet so I don't know how it turns out, but she she is, is a single mother who abandons her son. Like not exactly abandons him, like she does she comes back to see him, but that is essentially the place she's put in at, the, at this point. Her, the father wants her to have nothing to do with her son. Um, and she is with another man, has a child with another man, while she's married to this other guy and won't divorce her. And it's conversations like these that are just not possible with e-readers. This is why I don't want to buy an e-reader, because the whole social aspect of reading books is just completely taken away. You have a Kindle or, or other kind of e-reader, you have your nice case, people know, oh hey, you're reading a book, but no one's gonna go up and ask, whereas if you have cover art and the title and everything, you are essentially announcing to the world, this is what I am reading, I am open for discussion, possibly, maybe, I don't know, I, I personally am open for discussion whenever I'm reading a book. In fact, that is exactly what I was hoping to happen carting Anna Karenina around, is to have someone be excited that that someone else is reading it, and to have enjoyed that book so much that they want to they, they want to make a connection with the person. And it just it's this whole sense of community that I think we're losing with um, with some of the modern technology. Like YouTube for instance, YouTube is wonderful, it is about connecting, but there are so many other advancements in technology that I feel are just taking away from ways to connect with people. And e-readers are, are one of them. Anyway, that's just my two cents and I just wanted to share this experience with you guys and maybe get a dialogue going. Like, what do you guys think of e-readers? Would you buy one? Do you have one? Um, what do you think of the social aspect of reading? Am I just crazy for thinking, oh, hey, because I'm reading this book, maybe someone will talk to me about it. Leave a comment, do a video response. I'd love to hear your input on this and like get a dialogue going because that would be completely awesome. Anyway, see you in the next video, guys. She did things that were very scandalous for the time, but she didn't let society tell her what to do. She didn't... Ugh, society. This is what happens when you're in university every time someone says society. It's awful. And you shouldn't do that. And improper. Bad writing.